Okay guys, so today I'm going to be doing a first impressions of Dua's Oh Baby, which is a clone of Melanie Martinez' Cry Baby Milk perfume. If you have been living under a rock and you don't know, but Melanie Martinez's Cry Baby Perfume Milk is an ultra rare perfume and people sell it for over 1000 and people actually buy it. It is crazy. It was released in 2016 and I vividly remember the day when that advert released, the creepy advert that I love so much. And unfortunately, like most people, I was a minor, so I couldn't get my hands on it. Even today, guys, it's very unfortunate. Like, this Dua clone, I can't compare it to the original just because it's too expensive and it's an ultra-rare perfume. But from research that I have gathered, they should smell very, very similar. This Dua fragrance was sold out for eight months. It is crazy. Every day I was checking the website to see if it is back in stock and finally I purchased this. And I think it's even out of stock now. I have been dreaming of this perfume for the longest time and I'm so excited. I'm literally going to be unboxing. Now guys, this video is mainly for like the Melanie Martinez fans who have been trying to look for a dupe. But if you randomly clicked on this video, I think it will be perfect if you're looking for like a strawberry milk gourmand perfume apparently. We shall see. We'll spray it together and see. So guys, I'm literally going to be doing a first impressions. I'm literally hyperventilating. I'm so, so excited. Um, I personally don't believe that you can judge a fragrance like for one minute and just spray. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to post this video and a week later in the comments or in the description, I'll update you guys how this changes, do the notes sing on my skin and I'll just keep you guys updated. So I'm just going to start unboxing the fragrance. Okay guys. So this is the Dua box, Dua brand. Oh my gosh, guys, literally, I have been dreaming of this for the longest time. I can't, like, yeah. Okay, so here's the bottle, it's so beautiful. Now, guys, for the moment of truth, I have been wanting this fragrance since 2016. Okay, guys, before I smell, so the notes is like supposed to be forest fruits. I'm not smelling it, I'm literally closing my nose. So the, those, the notes are supposed to be forest fruits, powdery, caramel, and milk. And so I have no idea what this is gonna smell like. People say that it's supposed to smell like guava, but let's go. Okay. Okay, it's not what I expected, it's quite... Let me, let me spray this on paper. It's so, so interesting. I kind of, this isn't what I expected at all. Okay, let me just sort of air this out, guys. Guys, it's not what I expected at all. I was expecting something light and milkier, a bit more like tonic. However, it's... Yeah, it's strawberry with... With, like... Like, caramel. Yeah, I get the caramel and it's sweet. I smell like some type of honey, some type of sweetness with strawberry milk. Yeah, I love this, guys. Jenny, if you're not like a Melanie Martinez fan, this would be a perfect strawberry milky perfume. I'm just so shocked, guys. No, it doesn't smell like Burberry Hurt Elixir or Yara by It has depth. It's like a gourmand milky perfume, guys. I don't get the guava note that people talk about, but it reminds me of like, um... Milkshake. Yeah, strawberry Nesquik milkshake. You know the pink one? That's what it smells like, guys. I heard that Dua brand perfumes come already macerated, so you usually don't need to like spray and see how it works, but I'll let you guys know in the comments how this changes over time, but I'm just trying to describe it for the fans. So yeah, think of Nesquik strawberry milkshake, guys. That's literally what it smells like, finally. Now guys, I don't even know how to find the word. So Melanie Martinez, she's a alternative artist. I have loved her since summer 2015. Nobody, not everyone understands her. She's very, very different. And I guarantee, like, for the people, for, like, regular people watching this video, if they type her up on Google, you'll think, what the fuck? Like, most of the people I know or my friends who I forced to type up and listen to her songs. But Melanie Martinez is amazing. Like, I love her sound. Um, the whole Crybaby era, I loved. And I was a big fan of that. And I think for a few years, maybe from 2019, to 2022 i didn't listen to her music much just her old songs and some of her other releases as well and then 2023 february i believe was when or march no sorry march 
was when she released her Portals album and that album is doing very well. It's all about spirituality, the afterlife, reincarnation and death and she purposely made that album and the song Death to help people with mourning and that album has definitely really resonated and helped me. For those of you guys who don't know, Melanie Martinez in this new pop in this new Portals era, she is a four-eyed creature with pink skin. And like I say, guys, not everyone is going to understand her. A lot of people call her satanic and whatnot, but that's not true at all. I actually went to a concert in November and it was my first concert ever. I went completely alone. However, guys, I'm not going to be standing in a queue and not talking about Melanie Martinez. So I'm just trying to see how, as the minutes go, how this changes. So interesting, it doesn't really remind me of anything that I own as well, and I have so many fragrances. Just did another spray guys, we'll see how this goes. But yeah, let me keep rambling about Melanie Martinez, so... Yeah, this album, the Portals album, is... Literally everything to me, I love the whole aesthetic. Tell me... I'm gonna be inserting pictures of her as I talk in this video, I hope. But what do you guys think about Melanie Martinez, because... A lot of people don't like her, but to me, her music is amazing and she talks about controversial subjects. And at this stage in my life, a lot of the songs in her albums, all of them, really resonate with me. And I'm not sure what's going on, but it's like, it's creepy. Like when I listen, it's like, oh my God, I'm literally feeling this way. She also released a Portals perfume in like a huge statue and that one is so pricey, but people need to understand that she's an independent artist. You know, she does all the funding herself, from what I understand. She's a part of each project. Like, even with this perfume, she cannot revive it because the company or the manufacturer that she worked with sort of shut down or closed down, and the formula has been lost. So no matter what she does, the formula will never be able to be revived. But with the Portals perfume, like, I'm not sure how I feel, it's it's very pricey, but you do get like a statue and I think the creature is so cute, like with the four eyes. Um, and I know somebody who has it, he says that he likes it, he spent all his money on it because it's like 300 plus pounds, but it's more like a collector piece because guys, Melanie Martinez fan base, we're crazy, like we love Melanie. Um, and people pay, you know, thousands for the original of this, like it is insane, but... Yeah, I'd love to own that statue, it's just so stunning, and it has four perfumes, and hopefully in the future I can do a review on those for you guys, but we will see. Guys, to sum it up, for like all the crybabies or earthlings now, what this smells like, or even people who are interested in the perfect gourmand strawberry milk perfume, this smells like Nesquik's strawberry milk. That is the best way that I can describe it. It doesn't remind me of anything that I own. It's a bit baby powdery as well, it's so, so interesting. Guys, I will be updating the description or maybe the comments a week later to see how this changes. I'll be spraying it every day to see how it sort of sings on my skin. Does anything change at all? Does a certain note appear after a certain while? But, oh baby by Dua. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys.